you, you, wouldn't, you won't have the luxury of having five months preparation uh, for the Lions coming up. So that, that, that's, that's a short window of opportunity in terms of preparation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, how, how, are you, how are you looking ahead to that? I mean, you know, you, you've, you've had the last 12 months to, to look at what, what, what's available to you um, and, you know, selection will dictate who you take. Um, but the preparation has probably been in, in, in the process of being developed for, for the last six or 12 months. What? Yeah, I have, well, I think it's, we probably we assume that I think on the, the 26th, which is the day after the um, Premiership final and, and then the day after the Pro 12 final, and then we fly out to Hong Kong on the 27th as a full squad, so probably have a light run and that's it. So it's about getting, if the first f three or four weeks Preparation is about you know, getting things right. And probably what I learned from 2009 and, and previous Lions tours is that it's all about the test series. So if we drop a game or two in Australia because we're trying some combinations or we want to change the way we play or try a different style, I'm, I'm not going to get hung up on that. Um, we went through South Africa in 2009 undefeated apart from losing two of the test matches. Yeah. Yeah. Series 2-1 we could have could have, could have and probably should have won the, the series, but if you look back to 97, they dropped a couple of games, mm -hmm. but they won the Test Series. But people don't remember that. It's all about uh, winning the Test Series. So for us, it's going to be, it's that lead into that first Test in Brisbane and the preparation and, um, like I said, if we lose a game or two because we're trying things or working on things, you know, it won't be the end of the world because it's all about how we sort of turn up on... Um, June, June the, June the 22nd, I think it is. Yeah, first test. Yeah. I'll be there for that. <laughs> I'll be there for three of them. Um, uh, but, but again, just sort of going back to what you were saying about um, with, with, with Wales, you know, um, the people, having the right people, having the right environment, uh, are key. And that's going to be the case again yeah. with the Lions, because again, it's a short period of time, and you're not just getting a lot of Welsh people together, you're going to get them from all the other nations. Yep. How, how much of a challenge? Oh, that, that, that's that's a big challenge that we've got to get things right off the field as much as anything. And and often from people that I've spoken to and been on successful Lions tours have been as much about um, not not the players that uh, are playing the Test side, but the players that are playing the week and the, and the harmony that they create and how much they support the squad. So that that that's going to be key. It's going to be paramount and. And but everyone I think needs to feel like there's an opportunity. So we will pick the squad. We'll guarantee everyone a start in the first three games. So at least you felt like you know I've had a chance. Mm -hmm. You know I've put myself in the shop window. And then probably a couple of games after that, we're going to have to make some tough calls and start thinking about the first test. But if we can create that uh, harmony within within the squad, and like I said, you know, some players are going to be disappointed that they're not selected, but. That's how supportive they are, and, and, and how close and tight we are as a group. Because um, we are going to pick up injuries, um, players. There's going to be some players selected on form um, out in Australia. So it's, it's about us getting everything right. Um, yeah, I just, don't, I don't think, I don't think on the field. I think more importantly, probably off the field. I, think it, I was there. I was there in '89 with the Lions. We, we, we lost the first test, won the next two. Um, and I think most of the players who played the test matches would put a lot of that down to the guys who were playing in midweek and the support they gave them throughout the week. Yep. If that was sort of paramount to the success that we had, because we genuinely felt that you know we were one collective unit, but with only 15 of us taking the field, yeah. and that that was that was huge for us. It really, it really was, and, and no doubt that's going oh, to be part of your philosophy. Yeah, absolutely, and as I said, and you know, I think that. Before we get on the plane, if, if everyone sort of been, if they're told, look, you're going to get a start in the first three games, so you think, well, okay, right, that's up to me now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be sort of separating and saying, here's the test side and here's the rest of you. We're going to try and make it as collective as we can and guys rooming together and, uh, um, you know, and just getting that balance right between. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we keep that. <laughs> it's an Australian. <laughs> Uh, Robbie Dean's at the back. Yeah, just, uh, yeah that balance between training hard and, and also guys 
being able to go out and, and enjoy each other's company and have a, have a couple of beers as well. And so, you know, just like I said, that's making sure that we, we get that way. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm looking back to, to, to 89, and, and we had we had a lot of sort of captains from international sides. We had a lot of sort of leaders, experienced guys in there. Is it, it, I mean, I know you're big into your leadership anyway. That's what you've promoted within Wales is if you're not a leader, step up to the mark and become a leader. And the more leaders you get, the better you become. Is, is that part, again, of your philosophy? Or yeah, I mean, I, th I think that, um, looking at you know, potential squad, there's, there's going to be a lot of new lions in, in, the, in Australia. And if you look at the England squad at the moment, there's not one player in that England squad that was in South Africa in 2009. So, um, yeah. um, you know, I, I could see you know, quite a young Lions squad in terms of uh, lack of experience from that. Um, so it's important that there are a number of guys that need to need to step up. Um, and there's obviously at this stage, you know, there's, I don't think there's a, any sort of one person you'd say is a standout, definite 100% captain yeah. of this tour. So, you know, whoever that, whoever that person is that's selected, they're going to need some support from other players around them, from you know whatever country they come from, in terms of um, helping to to create that sort of leadership role or leadership model that that um, drives um, everything on and off the field. You know the expectations, the work ethic, the training hard, but also discipline off the field as well. Uh, are you going to promote the layouts? Because I mean, I mean. You know, the Lions traditionally is, is the biggest thing in the British game, and to get selected means you've hit the pinnacle of, of your rugby career. And Ian McGeehan uh, in 89 93, you know, promoted that and what it meant to people and, you know, the players of the past and things like that. Is, is that going to be a big part of certainly the early stages of what they represented? Oh, massively, yeah. And I, and I, th I don't think that's my role. That's sort of, uh, you know, we've got um, people that are. Involved in some of the coaches that have been part of the Lions in the past, and in the management in terms of Van Duven and, and Gerald Davis as well. So um, James Robson, the doctors, I think it's the sixth Lions tour. Was so, that you yeah, in '93? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, uh, and then there's probably guys that um, not so much uh, from say the '70s, but more sort of recent Lions. I mean, I'd like to get a couple of guys in that. Um, in terms of talking to, to the players and what it means. I mean, one guy that you know, I was impressed with on, on the last tour, and you got a hammer in the first test, but then fronted up in the third test with Phil Vickery. Yeah. You know, and and I was so impressed with him out there, you know, what it meant to him to to be a lion and, and to play for the Lions, but also how what he did in terms of just moulding and bringing the, the group together and, and not being afraid to point the finger at whoever, whoever that person was and whatever nation they mm. came from as well so um, you know I, I was very privileged to be involved that, that last time but um, you know perhaps getting some of those players that have had a bit of experience and, and sort of more recent tours but you know what, what it meant for them personally you know, and I think there's some great characters in the game and, and players that have, have been successful not, not, not just for the Lions but also in others and domestic as well you know players like um, uh, Johnson, Delario, and, and so forth, and but I think that those sort of more recent players, you know, potentially have uh, could have a, you know, quite a significant impact on, on some of the players in the squad. You, you've been in Australia many times. You've, you know, obviously, you've, you've, you've coached against them, uh, been involved against them. Um, some serious challenges they throw at you, aren't they? Because the, the whole of Australia will do anything to, to yeah. you know, to, to, to make sure that they win this Test series. Uh, what, 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 um, what challenges do you expect from oh, uh, from Australia as a nation now, as opposed yeah, to just I mean, the challenges? They're the most competitive nation out there, you know, in terms of it doesn't matter what sport. Um, and you're right, I mean, they will do whatever it takes to, to win. Um, and whether that's sort of getting a, sort of a media um, um, campaign that, you know, we're doing something illegal, whether it's a scrum time or the breakdown, and whatever, you know, they're, they're very effective at um, you know, influencing not just the, the, the game on the field, but off the field sometimes as well, and we've, we've seen that in the past with um, what happened in 2001 where they moved the fans around and yeah, they started absolutely. giving out 
um, cream and gold, cream gold and scarves mm -hmm. and stuff to create that environment. I mean, but they'll, they will have a uh, an impact some somewhere. So we've got, I've got I've got to be aware of that, and we've got to realise that and, and be ready for potentially whatever's thrown at us. Uh, and, that, and that's important, sort of you know, sort of covering off all those scenarios about you know, what what could happen because you know, we've got to make sure that you know, there's anything that could. Do, Sort of be thrown at us on this tour and, and, and just be prepared for it and, and not let it rattle us really. I suppose in, in the social media world that we live in now as well, I mean that discipline amongst the squad and, and, and everyone involved is is vital, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's absolutely massive. You know, I went out with uh, for, for dinner a few days ago with um, Ruth Jones and we were out there, and uh, she said to she said with social media, she was talking to her brother and her brother said to her, "How was your pedicure?" And uh, she said, what do you mean about a pedicure? I mean, someone had seen it there and had tweeted it and, you know, just how quickly that information just gets around the world. So, yeah, I mean, obviously we've got to be very you know, controlled and, and, and protocols and guys knowing what the boundaries are because that, um, I think it's, we've come, it's a real age now of um, that social media, Facebook, Twitter and that, that uh, um, the flow of information is, is absolutely instant, and so we need to be able to control it as well. And Australia will use it, don't we? I mean, oh, hugely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even again, going back to '89, uh, the press played a major role in trying to undermine the Lions, and it was all about, you know, whether it was thuggery or anything they could get their hands on. Yeah. Uh, they tried to use against us, but well, thankfully we we managed to rise above it and uh, and, and win the series. But um, yeah, I, I mean. That they are a nation who want to win. They, they thrive on success, um, and, the, and the pressures will be on. Oh, hugely. And I think from for us, you know, we're, we're going down there. There's there's a lot of pressure on both teams. You know, for, mm. for them at home, and, and for the, the Lions, the concept of the Lions, the success and the future of the Lions is about going away and winning a series as well. So there's there's, there's a lot of pressure on us to to perform. Um, as well, so um, you know, I, I, think, I think it's going to be massive. I think it's going to be uh, incredibly exciting. A lot of uh, fans travelling, a lot of expats in, in Australia, or, or travelling from New Zealand. Um, and I, I just think the amount of interest that's been created in the last number of months is just just huge. And we've seen the Six Nations now, and you know, everyone got their opinion, and um, you know, picking different teams and squads and stuff. And, and I think it's fantastic. I just think, I think the interest that's been created is just awesome. Do you think, um, I mean, your you goal is obviously to win the Test Series, no, no, no doubt about that. Do you think four home nations, I mean, I, I get asked this question a lot, um, you know, you've, you've got the best of the Northern Hemisphere, bar in France and Italy, um, who are coming together to play a single nation down under, so it's as if people expect you to win because you You've got, you've got a larger pool of international players to choose from. Oh, I just think if the Lions is that is, it's the hardest thing to do. You know, you, you're bringing a group of players from four different countries together in such a short time, and you're going away. You're playing away from home against one of the top three teams in the world, whether it's Australia, New Zealand, or South Africa. And I, and I would argue that if you picked you know, the Tri Nations team, the best of the Tri Nations, and you put them together for a couple of days and said, "Come up to this." The Northern Hemisphere. I, I don't think that that would make them any stronger. Um, so, um, you know, it's it's, it's, a, it's a hard ask. It's difficult to do that. So what's important? I mean, that, 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 I think it's much the history as well. You know, it's 125 years of, of the Lions and you know, what what it means. And we've there's a lot of experience now and, and you know, from the past in terms of perhaps getting things right and hopefully getting things right. You know, I talk about on and off the field and. And for every Lions tour, you, know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You know, uh, there's a lot that we learned from 2009 that, were, that was you know, so so good and so positive, and it was a few little minor tweaks that um, hopefully it's going to be that sort of one or two percent to, to make the difference for this tour. You've been on one for a while, the Lions. They haven't won since what was it, 97. 97, yeah. 97, South yeah. Africa. Um, but you envisage. Uh, a successful Lions tour. Oh, it's just it's a typical Kiwi coming out. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's what you want. Yeah, that positive yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, um, and it's probably something that the, the, the 
coaches always say to me, the other coaches with Wales, and they say, you know, you're the eternal optimist. Well, that's kind of the way I am, you know, just you've got to go in there being positive, believing that you're good enough, believing that you can be the best, and, uh, and that's the way I've always been, you know, so uh, you know, there's no way that we'd be hopping on that plane without the confidence and the belief that we're good enough to come away and, and win the test series there. Well, best of luck. I wish you well. I'll be down there for the test Thank matches. You. Thanks, Warren, for, for your time. You. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, I said, I think on behalf of everyone in Wales and the UK, we wish you huge success down under. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. you. Thank you.